So the next thing that we're going to learn how to do is make a basic head morph. So if you go up to File, A New, and go down to Morph, you'll see at the top you have your choice of a human male, human female, dwarf male, dwarf female, etc. And we're just going to pick a human male. The first thing that you always want to do with these is just save it first. It saves as an MRH file, which is not what you use in the game, but it will export the MOR file when we're done with this. So if you go over to the skin color and you hit the ellipses, you can go and pick any any other skin color. Um, it's You can't browse them, sadly. Now, all of these different uh, parts of the face really work the same, where you can click on the ellipses for something pick any color. Uh, after a while you'll kind of know what these different abbreviations mean. So red, purple, things like that. We'll just pick a red. And then the slider controls how much of it is actually visible. So that would be full and that would be about halfway. So we'll just leave it there. You can also change the skin textures so we'll just pick the Warden Scar, and that gives you the, the basic Warden Scar that was in the trailer. We're going to go into the part selections at the top. This is just going to show you a very brief overview of it. Say we want to change the eye color, it's the same as before. Change it, you can notice it changed to blue. Um, you can change the texture, we'll give him different hair. Select some random hair and give him a different hair color. If you ever get lost, if you ever hit control and try and move the object and he goes spinning away, you can just right click and zoom to object. So we'll just try and back him up. Oops. And that'll be fine. We can also add a tattoo mask. So just add, this is a probably a Dalish elf tattoo. We want to add a color to it. We'll make it red so it's easy to see. And we'll turn this up. Each tattoo has three different channels. So this one has that as the first channel. We'll make the next one a blue channel. And then we'll make the next one, oh sorry, they have four channels. is a dark green, and then we'll make a yellow one. Now, you you don't need to use all four of them at the same time. You can just pick one that you like and turn the other ones down. You don't have to even add color to them. If you know that this is the one that you want for your character, then you don't have to you don't have to set anything else. So, now for the rest of it, We'll go down to the brow and stubble. If we want him to have a goatee, there's a slider for that. that. 